Hey what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel and today I'm gonna show you how to install the newest release of the Zebo mod Boeing 737-800 series aircraft for X-Plane 11. Somebody wrote out the intro. So we are back and the first thing that we're gonna do is head over to your internet browser. Once you're here, what you wanna do is type in Zebo and the first thing you should see is B737-800X Zebo mod. And what you wanna do is press on that link and you'll be taken over to explain forums. And over here, what you wanna do is head all the way down. If you wish, you can read through all of this. This is one of the best free aircraft you can get. The flight model, the flight dynamics, all the work that went into this aircraft is just amazing and you don't have to pay anything for it. And how do we have to say the quality of the Zebo mod aircraft is probably 100 times better than the one that's in P3D or FSX from PMDG. So if you wish you can read through all this information, check it out, it's really cool what you get for free. Once you finish reading everything and you're happy with everything, what you want to do is head down to the download section, the download link. And over here uh, there's actually three things you're gonna need for this aircraft, but in this video what we're gonna do is actually just show you how to download the Zebo mod 737-800X and in the next two tutorials I will be showing you how to download these two add-ons for this aircraft which will greatly improve the experience of Zebo mod. So once you're here what you want to do is go down to link Zebo mod B737-800X and it's a Google Drive link you want to click on that. So once you're on this page I know it can be quite confusing because there's a lot of files over here. Uh, these files are updates for the Zebo mod that are released sometimes even on daily basis you don't have to worry about them what you want to do is head down to b737 800x 3-39 is a full release and that's the whole aircraft that you need to download so let's go into it and let's press right click on it and let's go to download and Here's a small thing that I have noticed recently. As you can see over here, it says that the limit was exceeded. Uh, so in that case, if you cannot download the file, let's try again and see if that works. So as you can see in the left bottom hand side corner, there's a limit that has been exceeded for this file download. If you get this, don't worry, you can still download the file. What you need to have is just to have a Google account with a Google Drive. So what we're gonna actually do is right click on it and what we're gonna do is add to my drive. And what I'm gonna do now is actually head to my drive and as you can see, uh, the Zebo mod has been added to my drive. So what you wanna do now is actually right click again on that file and we have to make make a copy so we're gonna wait for that to complete and as you can see we have a copy of the Zebo mod file right over here what you can do is get rid of this file so we're gonna do a right click and we're gonna do remove and we're just gonna refresh in this page and and as you can see we have the Zebo mod over here uh, which is a copy file which now we will be able to download so what I like to do you don't have to do this if you don't want to uh, but I like to rename this file and what I'm gonna do is just get rid of that copy so as you can see we have the B737-800X 3.394 so press ok and right now what we're gonna do is press right click on it and press download just press download anyways and as you can see at the bottom we have to just acknowledge and just press save so as you can see the file is currently downloading depending on the internet speed it can take about 10 minutes or so to download so feel free to go and grab yourself some coffee tea in the meanwhile and i'll get back to you when this is all complete so we are back and it was about 10 minutes that it took to download this whole file which is 2.1 gigabytes in size as you can see the file is downloaded so what we can do now is actually access from the browser you can press uh, close all and uh, navigate down to your files and let's go to add downloads folder and as you can see we have the file is 2.163 gigabytes in size uh, what you want to do now is uh, right click on it and we're gonna do extract the full file and it will just extract the file over here into a second folder 
So as you can see, the file was extracted and if we go into that file, we can see there is another folder called B737800X. Go into that file and that's the all files you need for your aircraft. So what you can do now is actually go back into this. So what you can do now is actually drag that file over to your desktop. So that's done. You can exit from this. So what you want to do now is go to your X-Plane main folder. So let's do this. My one is currently in this PC, C drive, X-Plane 11. And over here, what you want to do is go into aircraft. And what I'm actually going to do is create a new folder and I'm going to call it with the capital letters Zebo. Once you're done, you can exit from that and you can go into this folder. And then the file that you have just dragged over onto your desktop, copy that file over to your Zebo folder. And as you can see, the aircraft was copied over. And if we exit, go back, Zebo. And yeah, it's all here. So what we can do now is actually you can close out of everything. So that's the whole installation process. And now let me just show you the aircraft and how it actually looks. And with this aircraft, you actually get two different textures in 1080p and the second texture set, which is in 4K. So what you can do now is fire up explain. So as you can see, explain 11 has loaded. And what we can do now is actually new flight. And over here, you can see you have these two aircraft, one and two. And they are both the new Zebo mod. You have the standard 737-800 and you've got two different models. The first one is just standard quality and the second one is in 4K quality textures. So we can go into this one, we can go into customize. And as you can see, we have all these different textures and sets that we can load into our sim. I'm just gonna go with the Ryanair one. And now what you wanna do is head over to your favorite or nearest airport. What I'm actually going to do is go to EGSS, which is London Stansted Airport, which is my favorite. And we're gonna do just load on the runway. And that's all selected, so just press confirm. Uh, we want clear skies about 12 noon and press start. So now we're gonna wait for the sim to load. And as you can see in the background, we can see the standard 737-800 that comes with X-Plane 11. And now I'm going to show you the free mod from Zebo that we have just downloaded. I mean, don't get me wrong, the quality that you get just out of the sim is still really good, but this one will blow your mind away. So let's just give it two seconds and we'll be right back. So as you can see, the aircraft has loaded in and you can have a swoop around and the quality is amazing. As you can see all the switches work and it's a really beautiful aircraft and it's free and the amount of quality that you get out of this aircraft is just amazing. Let me just show you some more of the interior. You can see it's a beautiful flight deck. All the switches, all the everything works as it should. Modeling is really good, all really, really nice quality. Guys, the wheels on board. And let me just show you quickly the outside. So as you can see, it's a really high quality aircraft, and you know the most important thing is free. You don't have to pay anything for it. As well, you get this tablet on the side, and you can configure different things inside. Uh, to your liking. So guys, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'll be posting more content like this, including tutorials, reviews, and all other stuff that you also may like. So please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.